The Washington Post newspaper is reporting that President Donald Trump asked the Secretary of State in Georgia, Brad Raffensperger, to find enough votes to overturn his defeat in the state. The paper says this happened in a leaked hour-long phone call Saturday night and that he threatened Raffensperger with vague criminal consequences when he refused to do it, warning that Raffensperger was taking, quote, a big risk. You know what they did and you're not reporting it. That's a, you know, that's a criminal, that's a criminal offense. And, and, you know, you can't let that happen. That's, that's a big risk to you and to Ryan, your lawyer. That's a big risk. So, look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more that we have, because we won the state. The report comes Sunday as the new U.S. Congress is sworn in. Normally, the swearing in of senators and members of Congress is ceremonial, it's routine, but it's under extra attention this year, given Donald Trump's attempts to overturn last November's election results. Sunday, members of the House of Representatives and the Senate took their oaths of office. It was different protocol from normal as they ensure safety in COVID times. They were sworn in in small groups, a limit to the number of family members who they could bring. Democrats kept control of the House in November's election, but suffered a number of losses, so have the smallest majority in decades. The House of Representatives elected a new speaker, the 80-year-old Nancy Pelosi, for the two-year term. She has led the House Democrats for the past 17 years. The control of the Senate is still undecided as we await two runoff elections to be held in Georgia. A group of Republican senators, including Ted Cruz, have said that they will vote to object to Joe Biden's victory when the House and Senate certify his victory on Wednesday. They say this is because of allegations of fraud in last November's election. Despite recounts and dozens of legal challenges by the Trump campaign and his supporters being thrown out, Vice President Mike Pence has signaled his support for this. His chief of staff said in a statement Saturday that Mike Pence shares the concerns of millions of Americans about voter fraud and irregularities in the last election. Mike Pence will preside over Wednesday's proceedings. It's been reported that Donald Trump finds it particularly galling that it will be his vice president who is set to announce Joe Biden is the next president of the United States. Toby Muse reporting for CGTN, Washington.